It was great. Um, I'm really glad that I that this was like my first experience because it was very um, laid back and like fast paced, but it wasn't like, like crazy and I didn't feel rushed or stressed. Or it was like you guys had a really, really nice environment. Um, I love the whole idea of the project. I thought the day went really well, um, given what we uh, what we had. We just had a few small details to kind of wrap up and kind of uh, just fit into place with the rest of it, um, which I thought was a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately, it was some of the broader, more difficult shots, so, and people seemed to be outside, lined up in perfect intervals to come in, and uh, right when the other customers are leaving, just so we couldn't quite get the shot. But I think, I think it worked out. Wow. Filming inside a live, functioning coffee shop was probably, to date, the hardest thing I've had to basically overcome. And it is a self-created stress, even though Pia, the owner of the coffee shop, was the best person to actually work with and for underneath in this coffee shop because she was totally willing to let us use this space. And bottom line, as long as we can still serve coffee, go ahead, which is what I gathered, I, even though I knew it, it's never as simple as that because filmmaking... You know, we're not coming in here with a handy cam or an iPhone and just running and gunning. We, we have some pretty legit production equipment. So we have lights, we have cameras, we have people. And, you know, we kept the crew and cast and crew to a minimum. But, man, it was just that stress of customers coming in and working around customers. Because, you know, if we were to film with them in the background, we would need releases and this and that. So the, the logistics of trying to get what I want from paper to screen, there's a huge divide. And a lot of it came down to basically let's get something you know my motto is something's better than nothing and this time's gonna pass so let's let's aim big and we got i remember the biggest shot was a um wide shot that essentially was encompassing the whole uh cafe and, and bar area and you know there was just people coming through people coming through and we got one take and there were three cameras running and we tried to go for another one but it just got busy and we said Listen, let's break it down. Let's let's film it in little chunks, and it'll work out in the end. You know, we have the latitude with the music video to uh, basically work within our own conf confines of you know continuity errors or jump cutting around or just inserting other things that maybe visually in a movie you couldn't do narratively, but with a music video you can do artistically. So the coffee shop and its full functioning being was definitely something that we had to uh, keep in mind at a always at a moment's notice. I don't know, really. To be perfectly honest, this kind of went basically as planned. I mean, the second day kind of dragged a little bit more because there were more people and we were trying to time crunch it because so, the store was closing sooner and it felt like um, there were more people around. We had to deal with a lot more of a concentration of stuff, but other than that, nah, I think it's pretty much fine. Well, since we're working in a coffee house, um, that's during business hours. Uh, there are a lot of people who come in and it's hard to shoot with people who aren't necessarily signed up to be in the film. So it was um, a lot of people running through and it was kind of crazy and fun, interesting, but um, very um, tricky. It, it's hard to work around, I guess. <laughs> this weekend was rough. I actually, uh, I took the, the previous the three days off, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, from work, uh, get some work done on this and to do some other stuff I had going on and ended up uh, working a lot more on this than I thought. And then Saturday morning rolls around and we do another show on Podsmiths called Circle Sunday with Sonia Autry and so basically our Saturday morning was get up early, get filming on Circle Sunday, hand me the footage and then uh, I run off back to my house because we filmed that in Worcester and I live in Charlton so run all the way back there and then load the footage, dump the footage from the cards, load it on my computer, and clean off the cards, give them to Alex, who is going to be stopping by, running over to our location, while I edited Circle Sunday. It didn't work out that way, because uh, I had to step in as, as a, a camera operator here. That's just the way things work out sometimes, so. Ended up filming here yesterday, today is Sunday. Uh, got home last night, put out, uh, edited and put out a promo for Circle Sunday, then got up nice and scruffy this morning, and. Filmed, uh, or uh, edited Circle Sunday, got it up on the internet, 
and then hurried over here to film. So we've been going going at it strong all weekend. It's not really unique that we had to change that up. That that was there, there was new blood coming in. It was coming in at basically the same place as it always comes in. So it's like okay, the the core of, of the operation still hasn't changed. The only thing that happened that, that was different was we had a new guy running a camera because we had multiple cameras and we were really trying to like maximize you know what we were getting for the time that we were here. So. Oh, but even that, like it worked, it, everything worked well, everything came off without a hitch. I think we're good. Favorite color, favorite season, favorite number, and the reason you're still standing here listening to me. I would love to do stuff like this um, music videos, film. I really like this environment. It's, it's nice, it's different. Like, I do theater, and so it's really different coming in and doing film, and everything's very disjointed and feels kind of artificial because you're going from like the end of the end of the video to a scene at the beginning and it's, it's a little bit crazy but I love stuff like this and I, I'd love to keep doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> there's some there's probably some stills of me looking very like a little schoolgirl watching my actors and watching everything kind of unfold and I know Andrew Gallagher took some great photos of me just bright-eyed and, and uh, looking really goofy, but I, I had to really take a, a step back and say, it's because I really enjoyed like actually getting everything underway, and, and I, I left the, the first day of the shoot being like, man, people actually do what I do for a living. People actually have the opportunity to make others do the work for them, and I, you know, I'm the type of person, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll cook the dinner, I, I'll make the bed, so I'll shoot the film, and I'll act it, you know, like, I'll do everything, but the thing is, in a director's job is to basically make sure everyone else is doing their job appropriately and actually having that unfold for the first time in a long time under these constraints and and uh, creative circles was, was one of my favorite parts to actually experience so it, it made me feel like we had something underway and uh, it was hard to imagine that we did our thinking beforehand and we had all the shots lined up and we had all the locations locked down but there was nothing to it but to do it and we just had to go forth and let the natural creative process just unfold and that was really awesome to experience. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not really making a move to New York, but um, I have, I'm staying with a friend there for a while. I have a haunted -y mansion type of amusement park gig through the end of October, uh, which will be fun. I'm, I'm there with a friend and it's basically uh, I'll be that during nights, and then hopefully during the day I'll be able to see what New York has to offer, do some uh, auditioning for plays, auditioning for whatever, meeting everyone I can meet, um, and kind of just um, seeing what I'll be able to do there, and if it's the right spot for me. Because if it isn't, I want to know, and I don't want to move down there and wind, end up that, oh, I have more connections in L.A. or Chicago or Orlando or Boston even, so. A nap. So I'm going to go do. Um, you know, it's this has been a long and tiring two days, mentally and physically. I am glad that it's done, and now it's all in the hands of the post-production team because that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I am done. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Um, basically, you know, uh, selfishly, if I may say, this was a smaller building block in my own personal goals because I have had the dream of filming a web series in a coffee shop. And this was almost the, the initial building blocks of that. So everything to me is, is cumulative and everything is building. So this little story that I felt was you know, a microcosm of a larger artistic vision, yeah, absolutely. And I think learning how to deal with a coffee shop and with a location and with the confines of the functional space is going to influence my next project. So, I mean, we're essentially looking for investment for a web series that involves, you know, coffee and zombies, and, and those two together sound like a really energetic dead time. So I, I can definitely say doing this endeavor for the weekend was, you know, a, a, a notch on my belt and, you know, a tool in my pouch and whatever other, you know, growth metaphors you can think of. But I'd say moving forward, always upwards, and we're always trying to get bigger and bigger here at Broken Wall Films and Podsmiths. Um, thanks to the whole team, because... You guys are fantastic and made my experience so so nice and easy and fun. Yeah, it was just really fun and I, I really like Orly Garland and I'm I'm very, very happy that I got to do this.
I think if, if this shoot was a coffee, it would essentially have to taste like... It would have the, the, the burden of a long, hard walk through a forest, but you eventually get to a point where you hit a clearing, and in this clearing is just fresh berries growing, and you aren't sure if you should eat them because they're poisonous, but you know you'll never actually experience the taste of these hard-earned berries after the, the journey through a forest. So you dive in and just fill your mouth with these berries, and with the, the oozing juices, you know that you have found true paradise. You're a weird dude. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta say things and, and let other people interpret the meanings of it. <laughs> mm.